Let's start this Batmania. The Batman toy license has passed through a bunch of hands. Personally, I'm more attached to the Kenner and Toy Biz offerings. In 2020, the license went to Spin Master, known for their Ninjago Masters of Spin Jitsu line. Oh, that, that wasn't Spin Master? Oh, that was Lego. Oh! Oh, Spin Master is known for the 90s classic Tech Deck, Air Hogs, and Bakugan. They also own Erector, Etch-A-Sketch, and as of 2021, the Rubik's Cube. The Batman license allowed Spin Master to make 4-inch Batman figures, and later they would bring DC Heroes as a separate line in the same scale. Although the DC Heroes never got vehicles or playsets, Batman obviously thrived because I'm Batman. And nothing else matters. He got playsets and a number of vehicles and multi packs. Now, with The Batman, Spin Master has released four figures, vehicles, and playsets, 12 inch figures and vehicles, and roleplay toys. This time, we're gonna check out the first wave of solo action figures. These figures come in a card reminiscent of the Batman and DC counterparts without the mystery accessories gimmick. The Batman figures are a bit taller than the basic Spin Master Batman and DC toys, but are built the same. Wave 1 includes four figures, Batman, Selina Kyle, Wingsuit Batman, and the Penguin. It confuses me that the Riddler isn't included from the very start since he's literally the first character introduced in the first trailer. Plus, we get a lot of Batman in the line. They could have made room for him. Batman has these big baby greens. He reminds me a lot of Babs Bunny. Wingsuit Batman is the same stinking figure but with a cape that has clips. The clips go to his wrists and ankles, but if you put his arms straight out, the clips tend to pop out, same as the ankles. This also happens with the one that comes with a bat cycle. Also, when you take the clips off, they look terrible. I wish I could clip the clips onto themselves and make them look good. Selena Kyle looks great. She looks just like her actress, Zoe Kravitz. The figure is a bit on the light side, but what do you expect? She has a smaller frame. The penguin is solid and reminds me of a soprano. He looks just like the on-screen version, Colin Farrell. Seriously, I didn't even know it was Bullseye. These figures come with three accessories and a mystery card. Some of the weapons are chunky and neon, a la the other Batman and DC Spin Master toys. So I choose not to have my figures displayed with them. There are other accessories that make sense and are 100% displayable, like the Batarangs, Penguin's umbrella and briefcase, and Selina's whip. I always found it strange the way Spin Master deals with certain accessories, like Superman's Kryptonite Boulder, Nightwing's batons, and in this case, Selina Kyle's Meg Griffin fingernail gloves. Oh, and look, they gave me two left gloves. Great. The basic Batman comes with some chest armor and it's so well done that you can't even tell that it's on him. The armor does have scratches so I guess instead of 
He-Man's Battle Armor Barrel, we get a clip-on version. The Penguin has a bonus accessory inside of his briefcase. Cashola, Cheddar, Bread, Mula, Dinero, Clams, Benjis, etc. And here's a nice surprise that I just found out. You can slide off the top of the umbrella to reveal a blade. As cool as the Spin Master, Batman, DC Heroes, and THE Batman figures are, one thing that kills the figures for me are the capes. Now I can't remember the name of the fabric, but I had this fabric swatch book about 22 years ago, and I will never forget how cheap this stuff is. It's meant for decorations and gift wrapping, but if you're a fan of the stuff, McFarlane has joined the cheap fabric cape game on their Batman 1966 line as well. Soft goods? More like soft bats, am I right? It's garbage, and you'd be better off looking for a way to make your own custom cape, or just outright buying one from one of your favorite online DIY vendors. It's sad when bootlegs have better capes than the real deal. These figures also come with an evidence mystery card. The card has an image in blue and red distortion lines. But when we put it into the decoder, we get the images. The red cards are a bit confusing to me, then again, I'm no genius. Maybe deciphering all the cards will let us know when the Riddler figure will drop. Let's find out. Seriously though, it's the map of Gotham City. The only reason I can tell this is because of this tiny off to the side compass rose. These cards are a fun gimmick from the past. Other than the paper like capes and the neon chunkified weapons, these are very nice figures. I 100% recommend them. I couldn't tell you about the 12 inch figures or roleplay toys. Uh, modern 12 inch figures don't have that, uh, oh, uh, je ne sais quoi. Sorry, I don't know French. But as a dumb American, it sounds like the right thing to say, even though it isn't. Ah, they just don't have that oomph. The quality of the Spin Master 4 inch figures are pretty high. The articulation is there, and the price is right at about 8 to 10 bananas. Will Raz review the Batman vehicles? Did he even get the vehicles for Spin Master's The Batman 4 inch figures? How about the core? When will we see the core reviews? 
see the continuation of this Batman series. Same bat time, same bat channel.